And yeah, like I said, 90% of the people that say yes and do my challenge groups are people that said no um, multiple times. So, I, and that's, I think that's, um, there's two, there's like two people. There's people that do the, that use the products because they're trying to build a business. They're like, okay, I'm going to drink Shakeology and work out because that's what I'm going to make money. And I need, I need to do that because that's what they tell us to do. We got to be proof the products work. And then there's people that drink Shakeology and read personal development and do the workouts because that's the person they are, or that's the person they want to be. That's the lifestyle they want to lead. And they don't care if anyone's going to jump on board on that journey with them, but they're going to read personal development and they're going to work out and eat right and drink Shakeology because they want to be physically and mentally strong. And that's the kind of life they want to lead regardless of who wants to join that, that journey with them. Uh, and if, if you're on that, on that journey for long enough and people get to watch you long enough and you're just inviting people and saying, Hey, this is what I'm all about. If you want to be a part of it, great. And if you don't, that's great too. Then people start to take notice of that. And they're like, this person's not desperate for me to join a challenge group. They're not trying to sell me something, you know, that this is just who they are and, and I can either join them and be a part of it, or I can just kind of not and get left behind. Um, so that's what I always try to tell my coaches is, you know, don't, don't be proof the products work because that's one of the vital behaviors. Do that because that's the kind of person you want to be. You want to be someone who's reading personal development because that's just who you are. Like you don't want to go through life just kind of like ho-hum. You want to be someone who's like a badass, like mentally and physically strong. And that's why you're doing those things for you. And then you're sharing that journey to keep yourself on track and, and allow other people to be a part of that journey if they want to. And if they don't, that's totally cool. And I think that's so much more attractive to people than trying to be like real salesy. Rob asked, do you, do you lead with uh, the products or do you lead with the coaching opportunity? Which is something, a great question because with people that are just like, you can tell that are into health and fitness and you can see them posting or maybe they're like into CrossFit or, or any type of workout and stuff. It's like, what, what do you, what do you lead with? Because the last thing they, they already know their workout routines and they know, they know obviously they're fit. So how do you, how do you approach those people? Uh, so I, I always, I, 90% of the time lead with the, the products with the challenge group or just like a free, my free Facebook group where they can kind of get like that community without having to buy anything. Um, like I run a challenge group every month. It's like a 21 day program where, you know, most of the time people have to buy something to get in there. If they already have, a routine. Sometimes I still let them in those 21 day challenges. Um, but I also have a free group that has no start or end date that I invite people to kind of get in there and kind of see what the community is all about. Um, so I kind of lead with that. I do have people that, you know, have their own workout routine that I say, Hey, just do one of these 21 day challenges. Keep doing your own workouts, you know, eat your own food and your own meal plan, but just be a part of this community, this 21 day accountability group. And, and see if this is something that you enjoy. And, uh, and I've had people that have gone into those little, those little 21 day challenges with their own workouts, like CrossFit or whatever it was, and their own meal plans, didn't want to drink Shakeology. And they just loved the community so much and saw people talking about the workouts and about Shakeology that they were like, all right, I want to do another one of these 21 day challenges. And I want to do it with a challenge pack this time just to see what it's all about. Um, so I, I usually lead with a free group or a challenge group with a challenge pack, or I just let them in there with nothing. If it's someone that I really want to work with, because I'm always thinking, you know, big picture, like who's someone I want to work with? Like who, who are the people that I want to surround myself with? And I don't care, you know, if they, you know, if they order a challenge pack or not, I'm not too worried about the 50 bucks, but what I, but I, when I do lead with the business, you know, like if I have someone that I, you know, that, that I think would make a great coach, I will lead with the business and I'll say, you know, I think you, I think you do really well with this thing. I'd love to work together. I think we'd have a lot of fun working together, but before we like even go into like the business or let's do a 21 day challenge together so you can see what the products are all about to see what the community of a challenge group is all about. And then you're going to have a better idea if coaching's a good fit for you. So I do lead with the business, but then I always make them do a challenge group before I actually like have them jump full into coaching because I don't want to waste their time. Like I don't want to get them into coaching and they've never tried the products or a challenge group. Like if they don't love those two things then they're not going to make a great coach. Um, so I will leave with the business, but I'll tell them, Hey, do this first before you commit hundred percent. That's how you're going to know if it's a good fit for you or not. Cause I don't want to waste your time. 
And then they're like, you know, a lot of times they're like, all right, let's do it. Let's, let's try that. And then like a weekend, they're like, all right, sign me up. Let's, let's, I wanted to be a coach. So I'd lead with the business at times, but I always make them do a challenge group to see, you know, that they make sure they know that what the products are all about and what the challenge groups are about. Um, also, how do you cold invite to the coaching opportunity? I guess I kind of answered that. Like, I'll cold invite to the coaching opportunity by telling them, um, I'm just honest with them. Like I'll, I don't say this to everybody. Like I say it to the people I actually believe it. I I'll say like, Hey, I, I really love like what you're all about. I love your posts. I think it would be a lot of fun to work together. Um, let's get on the phone and talk about maybe teaming up and I'll, and I'll get on the phone with them. I'm, I'm big on getting on the phone versus just messaging on Facebook. I think it's so much more powerful to, to have a chat with someone and, and to just type something on, on messenger. And if I can't get on the phone, then I do the voice message on Facebook. I think that works so much better than typing a lot of times. Um, also, how do you cold invite? Oh, already answered it. All right, cool. Do you see more success through Instagram or Facebook when you send out invites? So, for people that have Instagram that are like that, they don't have to, it, like if you only have Facebook, you don't have Instagram. Like I would just, so I wouldn't worry about Instagram. Like I would just focus on your Facebook page. Um, I would be in groups like crazy in different like groups, local groups, um, like groups that you have interests in. And I'd be friend requesting people. I'd be messaging. I'd be commenting. I'd be answering questions. I'd be liking people's posts in those groups. I'd be doing this. I'd be adding new suggested friends on Facebook every day. Um, I'd be searching suggested friends based on like the towns you live in so that you can meet people that are close and local to you or people that went to the same college as you or worked for a company that you used to work for. Cause you can filter, you know, the suggested friends by those things. I think that's huge. Um, so yeah, those the little, the groups and uh, the suggested friends on Facebook, if you have Instagram already and you want to use that, then, and definitely use that. And I totally recommend Instagress, uh, Instagress.com. That's where I find so many people. I have that thing. I paid like, I think 90 bucks for a whole year and it just runs 24, seven, 365. And I don't do auto comments, just auto likes. So it's liking people's photos every second of the day for the whole year. And people are like, who's this guy that liked my photo? And they come to my Instagram and you know, they, either hopefully like a photo or two or they start following me and then I go on my activity each day and I see who my new followers are and, and uh, who, pe who these new people are that like my stuff and I go to their page and if it's someone I want to connect with, I shoot them a private message, a direct message on Instagram and I just say, hey, thanks for the follow. I really you know, like your page. Like, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Start a conversation like that. So those are the two main ways I find people. Facebook on the groups and the suggested friends and then Instagram with Instagress and then just searching hashtags kind of manually myself too. Haven't got into the Facebook like page world yet. I keep getting, I'm thinking about it. Um, but yeah. All right. What's we got here? Do you guys usually lead with the business opportunity or the, uh, I got you that one. Um, which do you have a better approach? Which approach do you have better? What are some pros and cons of, of either? Okay. So, yeah, I think um, I, my favorite would be leading with the challenge groups and the products. And if you do lead with the business, to get them in a challenge group at least. Because I've trained coaches that have been through a challenge group and love the products and, love and, and they love challenge groups. And I've trained coaches that haven't done those things and it's just like not even close. Like the learning curve is so different. The coaches that, that come in and they've never done a challenge group or tried the products before, I think it's a little bit harder for them, slower for them, because they don't have that belief yet. But the coaches that already have that, it's a little bit easier. Not to say, like, there's, there's a lot of successful coaches on Team Boom that came in just straight for the business and hadn't done a challenge group yet. But the majority of people that they have that belief or they get that belief, you know, as they're becoming that new coach. Um, do you run free groups and do you have success with your free groups? Yeah. So the free groups, um, that ongoing group is a great group for people to connect with because, um, man, I think a lot of people just have no support system. 
there's no one in their life that wants to like feel better that wants to like read good stuff or or uh eat right or work out there's they're like the only one that thinks that way and then i get them in a free group like that and all of a sudden they're like oh my god i'm not the only one and they surround themselves and connect with a lot of people in that free group so yeah i've had a ton of success with that and then they see people in that group talking about beach body and you know the workouts of shakeology and they're like okay what's what's this stuff about you know and they start asking me and uh you know i tell them about my 21 day challenges which is like the free group's cool, but then there's like the premium group, which is the 21 day group where there's even more accountability and more activity and more support. Um, so that's the kind of the next step for them. But the free groups are what get them even interested in the 21 day group. So that free group's great. And then I've done like, you know, five day core challenge and like a five day kind of water challenge, five day clean eating challenge. Those are always successful. Like they always, anytime you're given something that's valuable, that's going to benefit someone for, for nothing. It's always, it's always a win-win. Um, anybody else that I missed? Can you explain, uh, can you explain what you show potential challengers on your zoom calls, potential challengers on your zoom calls? Um, I don't really do zoom calls with potential challengers. But um, when I get on a call with someone that's like interested in a challenge group, um, I'll say, I'll just kind of give them like a little brief description of what they're going to get. I'll tell them what the challenge pack is. You know, I'll tell them, um, you know, you get the workouts that you can either stream or if you want the DVDs, that's cool. Um, you get Shakeology, uh, which you can have for breakfast or lunch. I tell them I have that each day. I tell them, you know, it's made from like basically the 70 healthiest foods on the planet, the, the foods that are going to be the most beneficial to you and your mind and your body. That's what Shakeology is. And there's no added crap at all. Just the best foods for your whole body. Um, you get the containers, which are genius. Like you don't have to count calories or points or anything. You get to just make sure it fits in the container and then you eat it and you eat the right amount of each color for the day. And that's all you have to think about. So boom, like you're going to get the workouts 30 minutes a day. You can do from anywhere. You get Shakeology, you get the containers and uh, you get Darren Daly. I tell, I little, tell him a little bit about you're going to get a two minute little uh, mindset video that you get to watch and comment with your takeaway like everyone else does. And then you get me and uh, you know, I talk a little bit about like how I'm going to connect with them and I'm going to be in that group doing the workouts with them. And I think, you know, they, you know, I ask them questions, a lot of questions. I don't just talk. I ask them, you know, what their goals are, what their biggest obstacles are from getting to those goals. I dig a little bit deeper on what their goals are, not just I want to lose 10 pounds. I think they start to realize that I'm not here to just sell something. My job's not to sell a challenge back. You know, that's not our job. Like, if, if Carl wanted us to sell challenge packs, he would have called us, you know, distributors. But he called us coaches because he wanted us to, our job not to sell. He wanted our job to start once they buy that's when our real job starts is to start to get in that group with them and, you know, be doing the workouts right alongside them. Uh, I watched a video like the other day of Tony Horton and he was like, if you're a coach and you're not working out at least five times a week, you're a liar. <laughs> like, you know, their doors back there, like you, you can go out that way. And that was, I was like, man, he's kind of harsh, but it's kind of true. Like we're not here to just sell stuff. We're here because this is who we are and we're, uh, you know, we're trying to invite other people to be on that, that ride with us. How long did it take you to get your first active coach? Uh, I think 12 hours. I signed my mom up as soon as I signed up. Um, maybe it was like, the, like a, a day or two after. Um, but I said, Hey mom, I'm a coach and uh, I love you. And I, so I want you to feel, be healthy. So I want you to sign up as a coach and buy these supplements and do these workouts. And, uh, and you love me, so you'll do that to help me get to Emerald. Is that cool? She was like, okay, sounds good. Um, and then I did the same with my sister. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I didn't – that's the quick, the quick success, but I had zero success with this business for the first, like, few years um, because I just wasn't – I wasn't consistent with it at all. You know, like, I think that's the biggest mistake coaches make is they come in and they're excited – and they, they start inviting and people say no. So they kind of, they fall off 
Whereas like the coaches that, that understand that people just need to say no because they're not ready yet and then they're going to watch you for a while and then come back around, that's where the success is. So the, getting your nose are really like planting your seeds. That's, nose are a good thing because people are going to watch you a lot closer now. They're going to say, all right, I'm not ready, but I'm going to see what they're all about. I want to see what they're actually inviting me to. Uh, and then when you fall off, they go, huh, good. I feel better that I'm not doing that. But when you don't fall off and you stay consistent for six months, for a year, they go, dang, all right. They, they finally get to that point where they're ready to, to do something. And instead of like reaching for a gym membership or Jenny Craig, they've been seeing you show up in their newsfeed for the last six months or a year. So you're the first person they think about. You're the one they, they reach out to. Um, first coach that wanted to work the business. I think my mom wanted to work it right away. But uh, I would say my first like – coach that wanted to work the business, um, you know, besides my family and my family kind of went in and out of wanting to work the business. But my first coach that was like one of the coaches that went all in was probably like from day one besides my family was Joe Palacino. And I didn't find him as a coach until I had been a coach for like a year and a half. And anytime I have like a top elite coach or a coach that's making six figures that gets on this, these calls. One of the questions I always ask him is how many leaders do you have on your team? If you're making, you know, a hundred grand a year, how many leaders do you have on your team? And they say, Oh, I probably got, you know, two or three, you know, good leaders on my team. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, and that's something we always talk about, right? Like the secret to this business is find two or three good leaders, right? That's that simple. Uh, but then the next question I always ask him is, okay, cool. Like those two or three leaders you have, how many of them became coaches in your first year as a coach? And it's almost always the answer is none. Like the leaders you guys are going to find are almost never in your first year as a coach. And that kind of sucks. Like that's the catch. Like if you had someone ask me, what's the catch to this business? I would say the hot, the, like the secret to it is find two or three leaders. The catch is a lot of times those two or three people are going to be people that need to watch you. And, and really it's, it's who you become during that first year that attracts those two or three leaders because maybe the, you know, as a coach, your first month or two, like you're not the person that is going to attract those leaders. But if you are in this and you're reading personal development every day and surrounding yourself with people like this every, every day, and you're doing the workouts and eating right, you're going to start to grow into a different person. That's going to attract those two or three leaders. And so that's the, the little bit of the catch is every time I ask one of these top coaches, that's killing it. How many of their leaders, you know, came in that first year of them being a coach, it's almost always none, you know, but that's just kind of the, that, that's why it's so important to be on this journey for you, not because you're just trying to build a quick business. If you're in it for the right reasons, it's inevitable you're going to find the right people. If you're in it for the wrong reasons, you're not going to stick around long enough to grow into the person that's going to attract the right people. Um, okay, cool. Anybody else have any questions? I see Delaney and, and my mom are in South Florida and I'm in Northern California and like, I haven't seen the sun in like three days. <laughs> and there's my dad. Looks nice there. Must be nice. Oh. Okay. Cool. All right. No questions. All right. We're going to, um, I talked to the guy. He's going to, we're going to get him on another call, but I'm glad, I, you know, this was kind of a cool little impromptu call, but, uh, all right, let's wrap it up. And I'm just going to read the comments one more time. here. All right. We'll get a little boom on three and we're out of here. Unmute. Jameson, you want to say boom? Uh, all right, guys, boom on three. One, two, three. Boom! That's how we end up. Damn! That was a good one.